All right. So hello and namaste from Mumbai. So happy new year to all my friends and um, to all my colleagues. We'll start the new year with uh, some more newer ideas, some more newer experiences, some more advancements. And the idea of uh, connecting the old classical literature to newer ideas in strong foundations would be the cornerstone for us here. So we start with a <clears throat> new remedy for today. We'll talk about a remedy, a remedy belonging to the animal kingdom. We'll talk about the remedy lac caprinum. Kent wrote very beautifully in his Materia Medica, in Lac Caninum actually, he wrote that in future homeopathy will advance a lot if we can actually have milk remedies of many other mammals. He's written specifically about it in Kent's Materia Medica. And um, a lot of authors have worked on, may, there have been many provings of Lac remedies in the past couple of decades. <clears throat> so what I have tried to do is I've tried to understand the remedy from all the provings. And what I understand, understanding all of this clinically, how do we see that in a clinical setting, not just theoretical, but practical is the idea. So I'm going to share with you this remedy, very interesting remedy, lac caprinum, goat's milk. You know that goats are one of the first domesticated animals by humans. And they were used for everything from milk, from meat, for traveling, <clears throat> and so on. In homeopathic patterns, one of the main patterns you see is a lot of childlike helplessness, a state of a victim a state of a very, very timid, shy, victim-like personality. So there is an aura of a very innocent, childlike helplessness. <clears throat> and that's why they often look like the Baraitas, the Kalis, the Calcareas, the Silicas. Many of our cases, which we feel are Calcarea self, Kalika, Baraita, somewhere in between, but we are not sure, could actually turn out to be when you study in much deeper level, could actually turn out to be like caprinum. <clears throat> there is a state of a lot of fear and insecurity. This is a very important experience for like caprinum. And that's also one of the deep patterns where there's a lot of desire to have a state, a situation of comfort, a situation of stability. A situation of security. They want a secure place. They are searching for a safe position because or else the predators can just attack them from anywhere. Then there are predators everywhere. All animals are predators for them. The lions, the cheetahs, the everyone. All the wild animals you can imagine. So this deep sense of fear, insecurity is very strong. Now, how to understand this in, in, a, in a setting, in a clinical setting, and how to understand that in humans is you will see them having a lot of insecurity. They're working in an office. They will tell you, you know, my boss, he can scream me anytime. He can just remove me from the job and I'll feel insecure. And he might try to listen to someone else. And that can take me as a surprise. You know, I can be shocked. I can feel startled. I, I don't know then what to do. Because there is so much competition. There is not enough money. There are few jobs. Everyone have been laying off jobs. What do I do? There is overcrowding. My God. So there is this deep sense of losing social position. Social financial setting. Social image. A fear that People will talk bad about him or her, bad about him in workplace. Also, the fact that 
they will either talk very badly about him because they want they they don't like him or they don't want him to be secure or they will say something good so that they get something from him so there is this deep sense of suspiciousness insecurity this, this feeling of the superiors can remove the inferiors the superiors can attack the inferior the inferiors will be without any security <clears throat> dr sankaran very beautifully did a proving of lac caprina many years back and one of the very important patterns came up was overcrowding in a train where there is a very interesting and i don't know how many of you um, of course in india we all travel by train in mumbai you must have seen the local train and i don't know how many of you have um, experienced that feeling there is a state you know once you get in one, the, the getting in a train is another story but once you get in a train you need to fight for one space you could actually see people you know pulling their hair beating people up unwilling to compromise for that's so why because my space but the problem is the train is small and the other people also want this space so my space no your my 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 god this can cause the state of competitiveness insecurity anger irritability and so on so this is a very very interesting pattern of lack caprinum so the idea is and that's also something you will see in the source of lack caprinum that they tend to find a high place so they would actually you and i will i will ask uh, my colleague dr srishti to put up an image towards and how they want to find a higher safe place for security and you will see them the goats trying to go up near the hills a lot of patterns of uh, lack like caprino also show a lot of satiria as a lot of shameless sexuality is another pattern that comes in there's a lot of rheumatic affection a lot of stiffness wandering joint pains and um, what to go better by lying down this is another symptom that came up in the proving so this is just an idea and i hope that at some point we can compare these remedies to other and and understand at much deeper level right to us we have lot of interesting thing coming up there's a beautiful course on homeopathy and dermatology continuing i teach every friday and and we we want to invite you for that our books are available for further studying and the youtube channel is here the social media channels are here you can connect to us and this year make it special thank you <clears throat>